All right, Rankin family. So we are back again with another beautiful property tour. Now today we are in Ellison. This is Highland Homes brand new model house. So as you can tell, I mean, we're still in the process of getting the landscaping up and ready to go, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to showcase this one for you. So this is their 80 foot product and they just opened up a new section and they completely staged it. So I can't wait for you to see it. So on the exterior of the property, if you notice, we do have that hardy board. Also, we have the white painted brick, which a lot of folks absolutely love. I love to hear in the comments below if you like the painted brick or if you like the stone so going into the covered front porch we are going to have the glass pane double front door and let's go ahead and look at the foyer so if you know anything about highland homes they like to have almost like these similar um, foyers right here i love that you have the high ceilings with the brass chandelier right there not to mention you do have the accent wall on both sides so immediately to the left, we are going to have your beautiful large study. If you notice, you have the raised ceilings with the exposed beam, not to mention you have the candlelight chandelier. And I absolutely love this decor that they have inside of here. And if you notice, they have like this almost this wallpaper. It's not even wallpaper, actually. It's just one of these accents all along throughout each wall. So I'm definitely loving it so far right here. I love when we go into studies that have plenty of space from a practical standpoint. Like I always mention, if it's something where you work from home, you may want a larger study. So continuing along right here, let's go ahead and go through the foyer. And if you notice the wood, it looks like almost like a herringbone wood. It could be engineered, but I'll make sure to let you know. So right here, you would have your mud room as well as your utility room. So let me get the lights on. If you notice inside of here, you are gonna have recessed lighting. You have plenty of cabinetry inside of here for storage space, which I absolutely love. You have the quartz countertops, not to mention you have that quartz backsplash as well. And just look how much space you have inside of here. So you do have the built-in sink, plenty of space for an oversized washer and dryer. And you can also have a little section over here if you wanted to utilize that. So obviously over here, like I said, that would access the back of the property and the garage. You have a full size guest bedroom right here, which is perfect. They can easily access the covered front porch right here or the garage. So how I always mention, if it's something where they end up coming from the garage and go straight into the room right here. So that way they don't cause any disturbances whatsoever. So inside of here, you do have the baseboards all along. If you notice, this is a nice queen size bed with two nightstands and the headboard, and you have plenty of space inside of here. There's no discomfort I can foresee. So getting the lights on inside of the, the full size bathroom right here, which is connected, which is great. You have the quartz countertops, the brass faucet, not to mention, this is the first time I've actually seen a brass mirror frame. Wow, unique, oh, super elegant, almost looks like a gold plated mirror frame. Makes me feel like I'm in Dubai. So this is gonna be your walk-in shower. Again, keeping the theme, continuing along, you have the brass shower head and the brass knob. And then this is a full-size walk-in closet. So I love it that they didn't skimp on the guest room. You know, guests need love too. So hopefully your guests don't stay here too long because you may have them overextend their stay. So of course right there is the sales office, but that would be converted into a garage. And then I love this little area right here. I love this. I mean, as you can see, they have the decor. You may be able to fit your Christmas tree right there. It might be a little skimp, so you might wanna choose another place to put that. And I'll make sure, like I always mention, to open up every single door so that way we can see how the floor plan is. Right here, you do have a storage closet. You have your powder bath right there and another closet space right here. So inside of the powder bath, again, keeping the theme continuing, we do have that gold mirror frame again, the brass. You have the quartz countertops, white cabinetry, and almost like a floating countertops right there or a floating cabinetry, but 
not quite. You do have those legs on the ends. You have that accent wall with the window right here. And I love these windows because you can easily just open that up, let plenty more natural light inside of here. So far, so good. Love that accent wall. Let's continue along right here is going to be your full size media room. So you definitely have plenty of space inside of here. I'm glad they didn't add the L-shaped couch. I mean, even if you did, quite frankly, you could probably have it sectioned off over there. And then that way, you know, the L-shaped couch would fit in here comfortably. But inside of here, I love the decor. And the one thing I really love about this is since they just opened up this model house, it's not furniture that has been in there for eight months to a year, a year and a half, two years, even sometimes. So this is brand new furniture that they just put in here. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as the staging is concerned. It looks extremely contemporary, modern, in my opinion. So let's continue along. Now this is going to be your kitchen open to your great room. Wow. Can't get much better than this, folks. Let's go ahead and start in the kitchen. Right off the bat, you are gonna have the high ceilings with the exposed beams running from the kitchen all the way to the end of the great room, which I love. You have the brass chandelier right over your waterfall countertop island. Wow, look at the cabinetry. So let me know in the comments, folks, do you like the, almost like that wood-like cabinetry or would you prefer the white cabinetry? Really love to hear your thoughts. I'm noticing that this is kind of the trend. We're kind of, it seems like some of these model houses are going away from the white cabinetry and going towards this more wood-like. So right here, you have the large island, which I absolutely love with the breakfast bar. You have the stainless steel appliances, stack cabinets. It continues, if you notice it, you have it all the way over there where the pantry would be. You have like a built-in desk over here which is unique, I've never seen this. Probably, I don't know, I, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but really just depends. All right, so you have a walk-in pantry inside of here. The countertops extends all the way along and goes all the way into the breakfast nook, if you notice it. You have a six burner stove top with the brass pot filler and the stainless steel range hood. Very interesting. Now, the one thing I really love is you have this window right here, but you also have windows on top, which has a lot of natural light all the way extended to the great room. In your breakfast nook right here, you have that like wine grotto right there as well, and the sliders inside of here. So you have sliders inside the breakfast nook and in the great room, which is definitely unique. So you definitely have plenty of space and I'm loving it so far. And folks, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back, always great to have you. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin, I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out to Texas. So if you're in that bucket now or in the future, don't hesitate to reach out to the information below. We'll get you taken care of. And last thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the Rankin family. So that way you know when I drop a new video every week. All right, enough of that. Inside of here, you are gonna have your dining room table. So if you notice, so you have the dining room table, kitchen, and the great room. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as that. Do you like when you have a formal dining room instead of it being connected, or do you prefer it out in the open like this? So if you notice, you have the floor to ceiling uh, fireplace right here. You have that like quartz material right there. You have the two built-in cabinetry right there as well with the shelf and the electric fireplace. So I'm definitely loving it. Let me go ahead and do a pan. You have plenty of space, which I absolutely love inside of here. All the family can be in one spot at one time and you don't have to worry about everyone being cut off from or excluded from the conversations. So continuing along, before we go in there, let's go ahead and take a look at the second powder bath. Let me get out the way. Yeah, so you have a different accent wall, like this gold material on the walls. And then this is gonna be your primary bedroom. Let's see if we can get the lights on, yep. Okay, so you have the raised ceilings inside of here. You have plenty of space for a king size bed, two oversized nightstands. Not to mention you have the sitting area over here. 
letting in an abundance of natural light. Right here, you can add a full-size couch. I mean, goodness gracious, the amount of space that you have in here is fantastic. So let me do a quick pan. Wow. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I, I really love I me. Mean, quite frankly, when you're going into these bigger properties that have a ton of square footage, you are going to notice that they have a lot of room for uh, their bedroom sets and things like that. So if it's something where you need, you're on a budget, you don't want to break the bank, then that's something that you got to keep in mind. But inside of this ensuite, you are going to have the tray ceilings with the recessed lighting, candlelight brass chandelier again. The one thing I love is that you have the vanity area in between the his and her sink. And in here, you have three separate mirrors, which is interesting. I, I love to hear your thoughts. Do you like that? Me personally, I think one solid mirror um, mirror would, would do justice, would look fantastic. But who am I, right? <laughs> and then uh, inside of here, you have your rectangular soaking tub, plenty of space. And the one thing I really love about this is it's free standing. A lot of times when it's built in and there's like that tile around the tub, it, personally, I feel like it looks outdated, but um, that's just my personal opinion. Inside of here, look how large this walk-in shower is. You have this tile shower surround, you have dual shower heads, not to mention dual waterfall shower heads and recessed lighting. You really, probably most of the time, you wouldn't even need to have the lighting on inside of here if you're showering on a nice sunny day like this just because of the windows and natural light. So taking a right right here, you are gonna have your full size walk-in closet. So you have a decent amount of space in here and folks, they're still in the process of going ahead and uh, fixing it up and you know staging things like that. So I really wanted just to get you exclusive access. And then, so that was the walk-in closet. Of course, you have your toilet right over here, but gosh, on a scale of one to 10, let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. So that was the primary bedroom. And then of course, we'll make our way to the backyard, but like we always uh, mention, we like to wait until the end. That feels like a natural spot to end, in my opinion. But okay, so that looks like it's been the first level right here. Of course, we went into the media room. We went over there to the first primary, uh, or for, for the first, uh, powder bath let's go ahead and take a look upstairs right here you can keep it bare how they have it or you can easily add some decor right there and then let's take a look up here okay so here we go so starting on this end right here you are going to have this window bench for you know for entertaining guests especially a lot of times most folks would use this pool table and have the sore losers over here so <laughs> That's what you could do. Inside of here, you have the raised ceilings. I love that you have raised ceilings on the second level. You have dual fans, LED fans right here. Plus over here, you got your little wet bar area. So you just have so much space in here for entertaining folks, having the family over, no matter how large your family is, this would be a perfect spot. So I'll do a quick pan and a moment of silence. Wow. Can't get much better than that, folks. And then let's take a look over your kitchen. This is what you would see. So that way you can say, hey, make me a McGriddle or make me <laughs> whatever you prefer. Make me some eggs and bacon. You can tell whoever is in the kitchen whipping it up. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next bedroom right here. Inside of here, you do have a queen size bed, two nightstands, a dresser, and you still have a lot of walk room. And the one thing I do love about this one is that you do have a connected uh, bathroom, which is fantastic. And then we'll see about the other ones as well. But we're keeping the same theme inside of here. And if you know anything about Highland Homes, um, we've seen it quite a bit where they have, you know, like this teal blue decor. Um, a lot of people are really thrown off by it, especially at some of these higher price points. But I'm so glad that we're seeing inside of here that they have this more luxury staging. I think it definitely does it justice. And quite frankly, I feel like in my personal opinion, the staging sets the tone for a lot of these plans and a lot of these model houses, right? So it's kind of hard when you see staging that's off-putting 
to really see what the property uh, could be, you know, especially from the structural standpoint, it, it, the, the staging really stands out. And if you were an early viewer on this channel, I used to bring vacant properties like I, I mentioned before, and it really just didn't do the property justice. I mean, a lot of, there are some people that have that imagination that they can visualize where their furniture would go and they, they, you know, they probably could visualize it a lot better than what it looks like stage. But I really just think the stage properties really are fantastic. So inside of here, you got your shower tub combo. You have your you know, connected bathroom. That's an individual bathroom. So that way you don't have to share again. Quartz countertops, brass handles. So, and some of these other model houses too, what we see is, uh, I don't know if I showed this, maybe if I didn't, walk-in closet. Um, some of these model houses, sometimes they have different types of hardware for different bathrooms, just to show you what it is. But I'm liking that it's been uniform. They're keeping it consistent inside of here. That's one thing I'm definitely noticing. Inside of here, you are gonna have a third powder bath. Interesting. We got three half baths in here. This one it has a, uh, a bathroom attached to it as well. And I'm loving that you have plenty of space inside of here. Absolutely. Wow. And then of course, same deal. That's what we're working with. So yeah, just a little bit about this community. So this is in Ellison, which is in Katy, Texas. So they've done some development quite a bit. They just um, closed off their other model home park or they're in the process of closing it out and they just opened up a brand new model home park so i uh, wanted to make sure you got inside of this one uh, i can't i showed a couple i showed a weston homes that for their new i'm going to do a perry homes pretty soon um but i really just want to bring you folks the best of the best so if it's something where you want to be in katie this is going to be a perfect plan for you like i always mention for you folks um, if it's something where you don't like the location or you need to be in a specific suburb, then, you know, reach out, see if it's a possibility. If you like this plan, but you don't like the location, we can see what we can do about it. Make sure that you get the plan that you really want. And I always say, you know, whenever you're out looking for homes and you're finding out what you want, I say, yeah, especially at these price points, you really don't want to compromise. And that's my personal opinion. If you can. Now, of course, there's going to be certain things, uh, certain aspects. It's a give and take situation, right? You know, you would want to take some things from maybe Perry Homes and then you want to take some things from West End Homes or Highland Homes or what have you. Um, but within reason, you still have a possibility to go ahead and, you know, pick and choose what you really want. So the good thing is some of these builders are extremely flexible as far as their cosmetic upgrades, their structural upgrades, they wanna make sure they have satisfied customers and they understand different individuals have different needs. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You don't have to worry about that. Like I always say, reach out so that way we can find a customized plan tailored to your needs, find out what you're looking to accomplish and why, and see what we can do to create a plan to help you. So that was the interior of the property. Inside of here is going to be your covered backyard patio so you got dual fans inside of here the recessed lighting continues over here and if you notice you have these raised ceilings inside of here which is fantastic so that way you don't feel maybe claustrophobic and then right here you have the fireplace a wood burning fireplace with the mantle right above it and look how much space you have in here i had a client recently who reached out and we're, we're wanting to get the lake view property so this would be a perfect lake view for her but we're, we're definitely gonna get her taken care of. But man, look at this. So you have the extended patio, which I love. Like I said, this is on an 80 foot section over here. So wow, can you imagine this being your view every morning? You really can't get much better than that, folks. But yeah, as you can see right over there, they got some newer sections that's being built. Even over here to the right, they just have another inventory home right there. And over there is Beezer, but Ellison is humongous. It's a master plan community. A lot of folks love it. The clients that I've worked with that are in here, they have nothing but good things to say about it thus far. So 
That, folks, was the lovely Highland Homes. All right, Rankin family, so that was Highland Homes right here in Katy, Texas. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. I think this is one of the best ones that we've seen by Highland Homes, and I'd love to hear your thoughts below. If you do want more information, I have all of it in the description, so that way you can reach out. We can create a plan for you. Any home that I showcase on this channel, I love for you to reach out. If you like it, we can see what we can do, regardless if it's El Paso, Lubbock, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, you name it, we'll get you taken care of. And one more quick announcement, I'm planning to do a live stream very soon. I'll, I'll uh, make sure to uh, put the notification on the community tab, so that way you know when the first live stream is. I'd love to interact with you folks in real time, find out what your questions are, so that way I can answer those on the spot, and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.